I think I really much, pretty much hit up like everything that had happened. I just didn't really speak on my feelings on the whole thing. Cause again, I, I didn't care and I wasn't really process, processing those feelings. But I mean, let's break it down individually. You have Aurora Forte, who was the first one fired from the show. Um, cause her ego was too big for the show, according to Alina. And she was you know, brought back in to our cast with no concern for like health regulations and all that. And here she was with the COVID, which ruined everyone else's like plans too, myself included. Um, am I cool with her still? I mean, I was going through like social media and I found that she wasn't even following me anymore on Instagram. I thought we were cool. And then, like, you know, it's, I get so, it's social media, but come on. She follows like these little itty bitty like baby drag queens who are just starting up on Instagram. Um, like any random guy who just decides, I'm going to be a drag queen, put on some lipstick and cheap eyelashes, throws on a wig, calling himself a drag queen in an Instagram account. She was following them, but she wasn't following me. I haven't spoken to her since the whole thing. Don't know how that how she feels about me now. Maybe not enough to follow me back. Um, but I just stopped following her too. Just you know, like, you know, let's just make this feeling mutual. Um, then you have, who was next? Uh, Gigi Michaels, who, you know what I've said? The only thing I probably regret in, regret in life is doing drag. Because I could have done without it. Um, the only good thing that's came out... Not, 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 Nothing really good has came out of it. All the connections, all the friends I have now, I didn't build from drag. Except now, the only good thing that I could say that has come out of this is a strong, genuine friendship with Gigi Michaels. Then you have, I think I was third, so of course I'm a bad bitch. Um, honest, mature, definitely humble. But I've certainly grown too, mentally, emotionally into just and psychologically because look at how like i can easily handle all this bullshit and must sweat off my back and then again to re you know reiterate the first thing i did when this whole shit went down was i put my phone on silent and took a nap because i couldn't be bothered um and again we're all men in dresses so shut the fuck up get over yourselves then you have who was it alpha andromeda who i mean like most of my footage was of her and she was in almost like every show too yeah so of alpha andromeda i the last i reached out to her was i mean she didn't respond back to like the group chat of the original box of chocolates text message chat that we had where she and jackie elation were in um i didn't respond back to it though but the last i tried to reach out to her was i tried calling her one time she didn't answer Last we spoke, we were cool, so, you know. Who else was there? There was Jackie Lation. I reconciled things with her. And I told her, I'm like, I just couldn't stand your ass. <laughs> and then when COVID happened, it, that's, those feelings just prolonged. And really, I just thought about, I'm like, why can't I stand you? Those are just my own personal feelings towards her. And there was no valid grounds for me to really hold those feelings against her. Um... It was just how I felt about her. It wasn't how she did anything. Sure, she did tell me to go to hell. And I did initiate the actions that led to her telling me that. So I took responsibility for that. And I told her that. And I apologized for it. Um, in a personal <clears throat> text message. Um, we have Katini P. Vanden. She's responding on my stuff. We're cool. Again, most of these girls, I'm cool if, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, you've got Jackie. Sorry, not Jackie. Uh, Sativa Banks. Who, again, I've said I was like her big supporter um, with how toxic the show was. I had told her, I'm like, I'm, we got to look out for each other. Because I was the next one who was going to be fired after Aurora. Um, but then she came along and took all the heat off of me. So it just became me learning how to navigate this workspace, this workplace and environment. And she got most of that heat. So... I'm like, if you go, I'm going to be next. So we had to look out for each other and keep you know each other pushing. Um, and yeah, support that bitch. Um, I had to shave her back. So if she thinks I'm not a good friend, then damn, what a bitch got to watch. I got to shave on her. Fuck. <laughs> it's a hairy back. 
Then you have Nyla Ray, who, again, um, on again, off again with Jesse, still good friends with her ex, which was Sativa. Um, I'm still cool with, and I told her, I'm like, uh, at one point, when she was starting up with our cast, she was put on the alternate position and, you know, giving very few um, chances to perform with this cast. Uh, and it's like, how are you going to hire someone to this cast of shows and you're telling them, we have rehearsals and shows every day these weeks, change your work schedule around it. So we do that. And then for Naya, come to every rehearsal, but you're not going to be any shows. You're just an alternate. So if someone gets sick, you're not going to be in any shows. So like she's wasting all this days that she took off of work where she could have been making money. So, um, and I told that at one point someone couldn't f uh, perform and I told Naya, I'm like, do you want to do it? I could easily jump in. I'm available right now, but I'm asking you if you want to do it because you need that screen time. You want that screen time to be out there and perform. And I told him, like, I'm telling you because I know you can do it. She, this bitch will put money into her outfits and effort and dedication to her craft. That's a bad bitch. Um, so, I like her. Again, I, I liked most of them. I, again, I admit, like, you know, I unfollowed Aurora because I don't know how she feels about me. I'm, I haven't spoken to her in so long. I'm just going to... Feelings change. People change. I'm just going to keep that space and let her figure that out. If she wants to just come reach out to me, sure. Then you have Kendall, who me and her got along. I think like one of the first afternoons, whatever she, Sunday brunch we did. We had a fucking Sunday brunch at this show, which was so ill-planned. Um, and I brought like six, seven, maybe eight people. I forget how many exactly. I can do the math later. But we were told to all try to bring like one or two people. And I brought like people. Nobody else brought people. I brought people. Um, and so that afternoon we just you know, hung out with me and Kendall. And we hit it off. We were good friends. She even said like, oh, I didn't think you'd be like this nice or whatever. Um, and here we are. Kendall told me some shit that Alina told her about me. Which goes to show... Again, like spreading these lies, or whatever about me and shit. Cause she told me about. It. I'm like, no, what, what, what? It was about my t-shirts that I made, the I Hate Remy t-shirts. And Kendall said, Alina told me you made those shirts because of how all the other queens treated you. I'm like, how the fuck? What? Like the vainness, the audacity, the nerve to fucking think the fucking world revolves around you. No, I made my own products for my own self. Like none of this had to do anything with you. Like get out of here. Uh, am I missing somebody? You've got Laura. Let's go into Laura now. Who? Um, oh, the bar staff. Talk about the bar staff. Got along with all the bar staff because I'm working with them every week. So come on, we gotta get along. And I got along with all of them, really. Well, who's ever left? The previous cast before that walkout. I'll get into that. <laughs> There's a couple ones in there who didn't like me apparently. But anyways, with Laura, the agent. Um, again, she was a good friend for to me. She helped me out with this and this. Um, and I t to see how... I I might be speculating at this point, but to see how she might have been manipulated by Alina to s switch around and now they're all trying to come at me for like some legal action. Not holding that against her. I still have her on Instagram. Um, I think the only one I really unfollowed after you know, the whole thing was Alina. I unfollowed Aurora way back when. When you know, I had found out, which I just felt stupid. I'm like, oh, this bitch wasn't following me. Anyways, I digress with her. But yeah, with Laura, still like her. Um, and then you have Alina, who... After all of this, again, I don't respect her as a person at all. Um, every right to say that. Watch the videos. Tell me I'm wrong. But uh, she was a good entertainer, I guess. She won some crowns and awards, whatever. Sure, hey, that's Wally back there in that video. And his husband. Oh. Anyways. She won some awards, I guess. So I guess she's a big deal. But, you know, looking at how she's treated me kind of makes you wonder how she might have treated other people just to get these crowns. I wonder if she ever won a Miss Congeniality. <laughs> um, but anyways. Yeah. No, like, that's... You've earned those... Uh, badges of honors, whatever, sure. It came down to how she treated me as a person. She couldn't even, like, 
she would call every other person except for me. Um, when shit came down, went down, she'd call all of them. But with me, nothing. Nope. Right in the Facebook group chat for everybody else to see. Remember, you're being fired. Let go, whatever her fucking wording is. Um, and again, if she had just said you're fired, spoken to me, said that word like a straight up person, I respect a little more. Even spoke to me for her own self. Instead of saying, I was told to say this to you, I respect her a little more. But nope. Again, like, I just don't respect her. I can't respect anyone like that. <laughs> you, you don't respect me. So, treat people how you want to be treated. But, yeah, so, she put me on blast for everyone to see in a group chat. Now I'm the courtesy of a phone call. And then to just dismiss me like that and be like, you know what? You want to talk to me? Come and call me. And then when I called her to not answer my phone call, again, saying that my time isn't as valuable as hers. No, thank you. Sure, she did try to call me back after that whole thing a day later, day and a half later. And at which point I gave you a long, full fucking day to get back to me. Nope. So, like, no, thank you. I don't have time for that. Um, at which point, again, I saw how you treated me, so I'm not going to bother with you. So being legally threatened, whatever, was one of the reasons why I stopped briefly. But again, like, what do you have on me? Um, let's see, what's stopping, like, anyone from suing, like, you know, Jeffree Star from, like, talking trash with, when he has all the text messages and receipts about these people? Because he's not doing anything wrong, because it's freedom of speech. For me, so it's defamation on anyone? No. Because it's what happened. And I have the receipts and the witnesses. Um, I had tried to find the original post that I saw, but I couldn't. But this is about the same thing, just in a written form. And it says, what is gaslighting? And now, I had to speak to several people about this. Um, one in particular, who I swore some secrecy with, or for, to, whatever. That I wouldn't share, like, some of their information in our conversations. But let, I read this for her. And let's see, to begin, gaslighting is a manipulative tactic utilized by an abuser to make you question your sanity or reality. It is normally done slowly and builds up over time. It can be done through the telling of blatant lies, denial, alienation, and many other ways. And so backtracking that, it was manipulative. Let's talk about the text message. And so the agent from the show um, has, you know, people, friends in, like, higher places. She's from money. Or I don't know if she's from money, but, you know, she certainly comes from area of money, area with money, and she knows people with money, whatever. Anyways, so she has the legal people on her side that was there for, you know, when this show needed legal advice. Um, and so I doubt that the person who fired me from the show would even have said connections on their own. And I think that whatever, Laura was the, the agent was the one who um, had might have spoken to Alina and said, hey, these are some actions we can take against Remy to stop him from doing freedom of speech, uh, to stop him. And so, from what I had heard through the grapevine, Laura was basically on my side when I got fired in that, you know, in agreement in that, you know, how I was fired was wrong, I shouldn't have been fired. And she was, you know, Again, in support of and in my favor. And to out of nowhere, was she the one who told Alina how to do all this? Is she the one feeding this information? Because Alina said, I was told. Is she the one telling Alina all this stuff? Again, manipulative. Showing you how Alina has manipulated these people who were on my side. Look at Laura, who's on my side. Turned them right against me. Look at all these other drag queens. You had Kendall and Naya, who... As far as I was concerned, we were cool, but here's this little group text message, whatever, which I get into somewhere, um, were like trying to stir the pot and instigate a response, um, instigate a response or get a response out of me through the text message, um, which I didn't fall for. But again, manipulative. Question your sanity and reality. And so I was speaking with Gigi about the whole thing, who I swore my secrecy to, whatever, um, privacy to. And I was speaking to her about it, and I told her, I'm like, before I even touch on this subject with, you know, this message from Alina, this legal threat, whatever, I have to now speak to you um, with, like, more legal, in a legal, more legal manner to watch my own back for legality's sakes. And it just made me question, like, is Gigi against me now, too? I thought we were such good friends. What happened here? Again, question your own reality. And 
making me even question our friendship, um, turning friends against each other. It's what she was doing, manipulating people. Um, made me question, like, is Gigi even on my side anymore? And I had to even stop at a couple points. I'm like, am I doing what? Uh, what is what I'm doing wrong too? Question my own damn, san damn sanity. Look at that. Let's see. Done slowly, builds up over time. That's what she does. And she tries to crack you. Ask Naya Larray. It can be done through the telling of blatant lies. This was a blatant lie. Um, well, coming at me with a restraining order, 